My ICPC experiences have definitely helped me uh, in a lot of ways. It's just made me a better programmer by a lot. Having to implement so many problems and having to just work with you know code so much. I think also it really is such a it's such a great network. Right now I, I kind of just started a company called Cognition. A lot of the team is kind of ICPC or IOI alums, so a lot of our network comes from doing these programming contests and meeting people. I competed in ICPC in 2016 and 2019. Uh, in 2016, we uh, I went with uh, like Stephen and Brian. Uh, there was a lot of fun in, in Thailand. Uh, and in 2019, I went again with uh, Kevin Sun and uh, Yin Yuan Su, and we got second that year in, uh, in uh, Porto, Portugal. I, I really like implementing problems. I really like um, kind of seeing problems that have like a lot of interesting code and trying to like uh, you know make sure that you implement it correctly and uh, implement it quickly. So this year I'm here as, a, as an alum and as a uh, member of ICPC Live. Uh, so I'm going to be commentating on the English stream. Yeah, it's, it's really exciting to be here and to be able to do something with ICPC uh, even after finishing as a contestant. Definitely looking forward to talking to a lot of the teams and kind of getting to know a lot of the kids. I think if I were to give some advice to the contestants this year, uh, it's probably to use paper, especially because there's only one keyboard. There's a lot of opportunity to kind of pre-plan and work things out on paper before uh, jumping on the computer. Uh, I just wanted to say good luck to the teams, and uh, you know, see you, see you in the contest. For more information on the ICPC World Finals in Luxor, Egypt, check out news.icpc.global, and be sure to follow hashtag #ICPCWFLuxor on social media.